It's here, it's here. Okay. What you're going to do is once you clean your block, the first thing you want to do is go over it and check for cracks. The cylinder head and the block both. Uh, cracks usually start 99% of the time around tap hole, any, any hole in the block is where you want to really look for cracks. And the cylinder head, look around the valve seats, and again, every, every hole through the head. This, they start at these little holes and then they propagate out. And to find it, I have this fancy magnet here, electromagnet. You just put it on top, push the button. And we have some iron dust, green, ugly green iron dust. And it gets all over the ground, it's hard to clean up. What the heck? <laughs> you put this on there. A little more, and you see how it sort of stands up around here. Can everybody see how it sort of stands no. up. Okay. If there were a crack there, it would line up with the crack, and it would stand up and concentrate pretty heavily on the crack. Um, this guy probably doesn't have any cracks in the block, but if you do it in that direction, in this direction this direction, every direction that you can to try to check every one of these holes. I don't want to use a lot of this stuff up there. And you can see there's no cracks there. You just keep moving along. Hopefully you won't find any. Yeah. But you want to find them now before you do a lot of work. That's What's that it? there? Is that just Watermark? That's just watermark. Okay. Uh, I don't have a cracked head to demonstrate, but if you see a crack, it's going to be You're really right. obvious. The stuff will stand right up. It'll like it'll be like a pencil mark. See if I can fake it. It won't be this wide, but it'll, it'll tend to sort of stand out like that. It's probably a lot finer, but it'll stand out just like that. Now some cracks are not. Bad. You can fix them, work, work your way around them. Other times, you had a Chevy 350 block that cost a hundred bucks, you throw it away and get another one. Yeah. <laughs> or take it back to the guy you got it from, tell him you want a good one. Right uh, that's not. Okay. Anyway, that's that's what Magnafluxing is. They charge what? What do they charge nowadays? Uh, maybe 50 bucks to do that. How? Oh, right. It's not a big deal. Now they can do it two or three other ways. You can use a dye penetrant. You spray, you clean it up really good, and spray a, a red dye on, wipe it off, and then you spray a developer on it. It's sort of a white stuff. It seeps into the cracks, and you can see it on aluminum. You can't use this on aluminum. So anything aluminum, you have to use a dye penetrant, and I think we have some. And they have one other method, it's an ultraviolet. It's the same thing as the dye penetrant, but you use an ultraviolet light and look through the cracks. And uh, it just, it's, again, it's just something that soaks into the crack and it finds the crack well enough that you can see it be right. And that's all there is to it.